I am Dr. Arun Chandel and I belong to the state of Himachal Pradesh. I was born in a small village named Sarkaghat in Himachal and I did my MBBS from IGMC Shimla. After that I did my DE Orthopedics that is Diploma Orthopedics that is also from IGMC Shimla. After doing diploma I uh, went to Sargangaram Hospital and I completed my DNV from Sargangaram Hospital where I got a chance to get myself trained under Dr. P.S. Dr. Dr. P.S. Mani and Dr. O. N. Nagi who were pioneers in the field of replacement surgery. After completing the DNV, I thought of serving my own, uh, my own state and I opened my own hospital by the name of Asta Multi-Speciality Hospital here at Mandi. Since 2009, I started working as orthopedic surgeon in Asta Multi-Speciality Hospital and then in 2010, I started doing replacement surgeries. The first joint replacement I did uh, was in June 2010 and since last four to five months, that is August uh, 2024, I started doing the robotic joint replacement surgeries also. I have been doing the traditional or the conventional surgeries since 2010 and these traditional surgeries or conventional surgeries use fixed jigs and there is only one solution for all the surgeries. In robotics, the robotic arm and the 3D data and CT scanning making a 3D images, 3D uh, uh, data that helps the, helps the surgeon to uh, make proper bone cuts and place the joint in uh, better alignment. So the robotic surgery, it helps placing the joints in, in, in more anatomical position, position with precision. That was the reason I thought of purchasing a robot to start the robotic joint replacement surgeries. Yes, you know, this is the first medical robot of Himachal Pradesh and when the truck arrived with the robot inside the campus, everybody at the campus was very thrilled. And the overall experience of uh, of the new robot and welcoming the robot was very, very, very exciting. Upon installation, when the demonstration of the robot and the saw bone cuts were made in front of all the staff, everyone at the hospital was thrilled to see how the robot works. And they were told what to do and what not to do. Overall experience was good and satisfactory. Prevention surgery which includes lesser uh, amount of trauma to the soft tissue, a little bit smaller incision, and better placement of the implant into the patient's bone. It also, also, also helps to customize the implant position as per the patient's own anatomy, as every patient has different anatomy of his, uh, of his bones. It also helps to place the implant precisely in patients with specific anatomy of their bones. It also helps to customize the surgery as per the patient's need and their anatomy. There is lesser blood loss, there is early post-operative recovery, and there is better adherence to the physiotherapy protocol because of the lesser pain after surgery. So how do you counsel patients for robotic joint replacement surgeries? After his thorough examination and x-rays, it is decided that this patient is a fit candidate for knee replacement surgery. I explain them both the methods of replacement. One is conventional and second is the robotic. And then just briefing him about the benefits of the robotic surgery, like lesser incision, lesser scarring, and early post-operative recovery. This helps in understanding the benefits of robotic surgery to the patients. Nowadays, most of the patients are accompanied by someone young in the family who is familiar with the artificial intelligence and role of artificial intelligence in our life. It is not very difficult to tell them the benefits of the robotic surgery. Educating the patient about the benefits of robotic surgery and showing them some videos of the patients after surgery in the early post-operative period. Camera rolling. Rolling. Uh, so how do you is a fit candidate for knee replacement surgery and he or she is willing to get it done with the robotic help. 
First of all, we do the preoperative checkup. That is same for all the patients, whether it is conventional or it is robotic surgery. And after that, we send the patient for CT scan of the lower limb. The CT scan is done from hip joint to ankle joint so as to define the anatomy of that specific patient. After taking around 600 to 700 sections of CT scan, we feed that into feed all the images into the planner. Then we plan the surgery on planner that is outside the operation theater, and then we import the plan to robotic arm. And in operation theater, we corroborate the data which is preoperatively obtained from CT scan, and then we do the mapping of the bone inside the OT and prepare a 3D model of the bone, and then proceed with the surgery.